So, uh, getting set up here, um, just to, uh, fuck around here a little bit. Got a random ass piece of scrap metal in the, uh, carbon art gouging setup going on here. And, uh, spider web of cables like usual. But the welder that I got here is a little Everlast, um, what the fuck is it? Power Alter 206 or whatever. It's a stick jig combo. And, uh, just figured I'd, uh, show you what this thing does. Carbon carbon art gouging um, I think it's pretty funny to talk to some people and you know they say you got to have some big giant you know Miller big blue 800 air pack um, to do you know carbon art and um, you know you need a minimum of 400 amps or something like that it's just you know reading around on the internet or talking to people or whatever it's really funny some of the shit that you hear um, and uh, Unfortunately, I fell for that at first, too. Um, you know, I just kind of assumed that a little welder like this would have no hope in hell of uh, running a, a gouging torch. Um, but then if you look on uh, AirArc's website, these little eighth-inch rods here, um, don't quote me, but I think they say like 80 to 120 amps or something like that. Um, and uh, so about a year ago, I was like, well, you know, screw it. Let's just... Uh, try the Everlast there and see what it does and uh, lo and behold it actually works out pretty good um, and what's funny is it's actually smoother than my trailblazer gouging um, it's obviously got less power but it is uh, smoother um, but yeah so right now got an eighth inch eighth inch carbon at 160 amps and um, I don't know let's fuck around with it here and see how low of an amperage we can get away with um, and like, okay, obviously this is, you know, for small shit. Um, you know, if you're talking about, you know, you want to gouge like a three quarter by three quarter inch channel down, you know, a piece of plate or something, then okay. Yeah. If you want to do that in, in one shot anyways, you know, you need some serious power behind that. Um, but there's no reason that you can't do that with, uh, eighth inch carbons and just take multiple passes at it. But, uh. I think everything's set up, so here we go. So, it's obviously not tremendously fast with this little welder or anything. Um, and you're not removing a whole shitload of material all at once or nothing like that. And obviously I'm not the greatest operator of this either. Um, I could use some more practice. But, uh, it works. Um, so yeah, that's 160 amps there. Let me, uh, I don't know, let's try 100.
Okay, base plate of the welder says 99. Okay, well that's strange. I feel like off my trailblazer I can gouge down that low. Okay, 140 now. Okay, what about 120? And it's just playing 119 right now. So, obviously it doesn't work as well uh, than when it's turned up higher or if you just simply had a bigger power supply too. Got it turned back up to 160. Um, but it does work and it does remove metal. And, uh, you know, sure beats grinding, or if you can't get a grinder into uh, a certain position or whatever, you got a tight spot that you got to access or something, um, this obviously would uh, suffice. <coughs> but yeah, so cables, 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 and hooked up into the cute little Everlast. And um, yeah, you know, I'm sure it's hard on it. Maybe I'm taking some lifespan off the welder, but uh, man, I've had that thing, had that welder about six years now, something like that, and burned hundreds of pounds of uh, stick rod with it. Um, and I uh, haven't, haven't done a shitload of TIG welding with it, but a fair bit. And um, uh, yeah, it's also a plasma cutter and uh, the plasma torch that it comes with is a raging piece of shit um, But the plasma function actually does work pretty well um, but Yeah, just cuz uh, just cuz you read on the internet somewhere that some dude tells you that you need a uh, you know a thousand amps and 400 CFM of air to Carbon out don't believe it and you know um, Don't just automatically believe what that guy says and you know, if you got a carbon arc torch, uh, just give it a try and see what she does. The one thing that you do need with this, though, is a pretty good, uh, pretty good supply of air. Um, you know, if you got a small compressor, um, you can still, still gouge with it, but you might be limited on 
you know, only being able to gouge for a minute and then wait 10 minutes for it to build or something like that. But, um, yeah, gouging with an Everlast. <laughs>